Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Forgot my crystal was there. Hope everybody is doing well. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Details uh, regarding personal readings and also details on how to win a free personal reading. With that, let's get started with your reading. I want to say uh, this reading can be about any area of your life, so take the messages, how they resonate with you. Uh, can also check out your sun. This is your sun, your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. Uh, if the reading does not resonate with you, uh, definitely check out your other placement placements. So with that, Scorpio, let's pull the energy here for you. Please uh, share with beautiful Scorpio. What do they need to know? What do they need to know right now? Please show Scorpio what they need to know. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. And it fell in my lap too. <laughs> Maybe that means uh, you got a lot of abundance coming in for you. It's going to fall right in your lap here. Number 11, cornucopia. Beautiful. Reaping the rewards here. Also, if you're seeing uh, synchronicity uh, of 11 ones or 11 11, that is going to be a sign for you. Beautiful energy there. Let's see what else. Okay, now we do have attachment here, number five. All right, and we also have here 22, which is the yin yang energy, also my twin flame card. Repeating twos and repeating ones uh, is what I'm getting here, okay. And we also have here number 48, which is uh, the angel of balance, okay. Number 48, 12, which is three. Okay, something here around patience, Scorpio. So what I feel is um, Spirit is saying something is manifesting, okay? I feel there is something here that's manifesting. You're very much attached to it, okay? So this feels like this is something that you have on your mind. Um, some of you, it could be a certain goal here. Some of you, it's um, a love relationship is what I'm sensing here. Uh, I feel like... Um, there's something around divine timing here, okay? Um, I'm also going to say here too, I'm feeling the energy that this may be something um, that you you wanting some sort, like you already envision what your fixed outcome is here, but it's something you're very attached to. Some of you, it could be emotionally, others, um, you know, even if it's around career and money, okay, there's an attachment, okay? So let's... Let's keep going. Could be something too you're feeling stuck about. Let's clarify the attachment. I normally clarify after I pull the cards, but let's clarify attachment. Why is attachment here? Please tell me more about attachment. Okay, so Knight of Wands. Okay, we have a Knight of Wands here. Okay. This is something you're very motivated um, about. Now, this could be a person in your life, could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about attachment. Let's get another card here. Okay, and we have the tower. Okay, so this could be something that um, I feel, Scorpio, maybe it doesn't feel consistent or maybe um, you feel like something here does not have a strong foundation here, okay? Um, but the, the energy that I'm seeing here, okay, I feel like too, this is something either you're making plans about or somebody is making plans to come towards you. This is what you're not expecting. Okay, now I'm going to say there could be somebody very attached to you um, coming towards you. Could be a twin flame. Definitely we have this yin-yang energy here, okay? Um, we have the queen of cups here. There's love, a lot of love here, and there's um, investment, okay? Now, like I said, some of you, this is going to be a relationship, and some of you, uh, this is going to be around money, career, okay? Whatever you're trying to manifest, so let's see what else the energy shows here for you, Scorpio. Please show Scorpio what they need to know. Please show Scorpio what they need to know. Okay, beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to say this is like that cornucopia. Okay, reaping the reward. Okay, whether this is financial or love relationship. 
Okay, here it is again, two of wands. There it is again, seven of pentacles. And the queen of cups, that, the, those were the four cards that were on the bottom of the deck after here, you know, you saw they popped out here, okay? So validating the message again here, okay? Some of you, I feel there's somebody coming towards you. You're not expecting this. Okay, it feels like there is. This is someone um, that um, is very attached to you. Somebody I feel here who may be returning into your life now. It could be somebody that you had some sort of argument, falling out. Okay, it doesn't have to be, um, but there there is not a stable foundation. Okay, um, you know, there's definitely two cards here: a balance. Um, so I feel like this was an unbalanced energy, but it could be. This person now is making plans, coming towards you in a more stable way here with Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. They have time invested with you. They have, there's love here. We're going to clarify, okay? Some of you, I feel like this could be around money, career, finances. You have a plan, something you um, may be feeling like things are not consistent here, okay? You have some financial growth here, but it's not exactly where you want it to be. But let's keep going, Scorpio. What else can you share with Scorpio? Okay, we have three of wands. Beautiful. Your ships are coming in. You're going to reap the reward here is what that's showing me. Three of wands, ten of pentacles. Okay, we got a king of swords here. Okay, so this could be somebody coming towards you, as I said. Communication here. Uh, this could be also you making plans. Like I said, looking at the big picture. With the two of wands, but quite clear about what you want. Okay, you've been, you've been waiting for something, I feel, to happen. Um, look at that. Six of cups and the star. There's some sort of wish here that brings a lot of happiness, peace, and harmony. Let's keep going. What else can you share with Scorpio? Please show Scorpio what they need to know right now. Okay, four of swords. And I'm going to pull another card before I say anything else. Okay. Ace of Cups. All right. Yeah, look what's on the bottom of the deck. Can you believe it? Temperance, Three of Cups. Okay. Something around divine timing here. Now, if something was inconsistent here or something happened that you weren't expecting, okay, I feel like that is definitely a divine intervention, a divine detour here. Okay, they're telling you patience because something's coming together for you, I feel quite nicely, Scorpio, that's bringing you a lot of peace, happiness, and joy. Now, if you had a falling out from someone, and it could be anybody in your life, doesn't have to be a lover, okay, but I feel for a lot of you it is, uh, this could be a reconciliation here with the Three of Cups and um, the Temperance, and I have to say you have the Hierophant here, you got Taurus energy, Sagittarius energy, could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, another Scorpio, or a Pisces. Also picking up Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Now, Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. It almost feels like you, you have been patient about this situation. I feel like um, this is energy here of you taking time to yourself. You could be recovering from a situation here that you didn't expect. Like I said, there's growth here, but maybe it's not quite where you want it to be yet, is what I'm sensing there. You have the Queen of Cups and you have the Ace of Cups. Okay, look at this. Beautiful. There's something here that is happening. Some Something is being offered to you, Scorpio, that's bringing you a lot of happiness and fulfillment. Okay, something's coming into balance after a period of time where maybe things weren't consistent, something happened unexpectedly. I feel with that divine intervention, it happened for a reason. Okay, it happened for a reason with the Xin Yang. Some of you, it's a relationship. Okay, maybe a rocky relationship. Let's start clarifying. Thank you, spirit and angels for your guidance. Let's clarify this two of wands. Why is the two of wands here, please? Okay, look at that. Knight of Swords and the Tower. Oh my gosh. Somebody here is coming towards you with communication. 
okay? Tower two times here. Maybe you're not expecting to hear from this person. Some of you, I'm going to say, if this is not about a particular person coming towards you, because everybody's uh, situation is going to be different. This could be about you making plans after something unexpected happened, okay? And maybe there's some sort of decision that you have to make pretty quickly here, okay? Otherwise, I feel there's someone here that um, is making plans coming towards you. Okay, let's see why the King of Swords is here, please. Why is the King of Swords here, please? Oh, too many cards there. Okay, we have a Ten of Wands. Okay, and we have a Judgment. So, in regards to a person, this person coming towards you, somebody's coming towards you with communication okay some somehow some way this person's been struggling um this is someone i feel because it does feel like there was something that happened with this tower something wasn't working between you and this person something was not balanced or um stable is what i'm sensing three of pentacles they want to work on this they want to come together um and communicate and work on this connection here okay this relationship this is someone, um, it feels like they haven't been able to let go of what has happened in the past. They want to work things out. We've got seven of wands here as well. Uh, they want to get past the obstacles. Okay, we've got seven of wands here and we have the ace of pentacles. They want stability, security. Now, for others, you know, I feel like some of you, this could be around career finances or work or something here Reco you know recovering from something here or something wasn't feeling consistent or stable some of you could be um i feel here doing this could be a job relocation uh you may have even for work maybe now you have to travel and maybe you didn't have to travel in the past is what I'm sensing. So you could get some communication here. Now we have judgment and 10 of wands, especially with this two of wands. I feel like too, this could be you making a judgment call about your situation. Okay, maybe needing to collaborate with others here with the three of pentacles, uh, whatever your situation is. Okay, we have seven of pentacles. Let's clarify this four of swords. Why is the Four of Swords here, please? Why is the Four of Swords here, please? Okay, Two of Cups. Two of Cups and the, and the Hermit could be uh, dealing with a Virgo. So, Scorpio. Hmm. Some of you, this is, a, this is somebody that you love, somebody very close and dear to your heart. It does feel like there's separation here. Like I said, there's growth here. Okay, um, or a, a time of reflection feels like you're apart from this person. Okay, there's mutual love here, mutual feelings. Now, this could also be a situation, as I said, can be very close to your heart. Okay, and now you're trying to find the guidance here, trying to find that, that guidance within to lead you. Let's see why the Ace of Cups is here, please. Why is the Ace of Cups here, please? Okay, Strength, Leo, Energy, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. You know, I don't know why I heard this. Um, I almost feel like whatever this, this Ace of Cups, there's something very fulfilling happening for you. Cornucopia, remember, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Your shifts are coming in. It's just a matter of time. Remember, we had temperance. I feel like it's almost like you're taming the excitement here. But you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Strength card here. Okay, they're telling you to be strong because there is, I feel, some sort of offer coming your way. Okay, it's a very attractive offer here. I also feel here too that um, it's going to take your strength here, okay? So you got the Seven of Pentacles here. You have the Nine of Pentacles. It's your strength that's going to get you through. There's a lot of abundance here in this Nine of Pentacles. So some of you, I feel like this could be about you. Um, some of you could be uh, making, you know, there could be some changes in your work, in your career that's going to be a lot more fulfilling here. Like I said, some of you may be doing a relocation or a job change and maybe you're going to travel for work. 
Others I feel uh, love relationships here. There's somebody I feel that there's the opportunity for a lot of happiness and love here. Okay, and this could be somebody who's gaining the courage to come towards you. Someone very attracted to you. Okay. All right. I'm going to I'm going to pull some more cards here, okay? I don't know why I sighed like that. I felt a, a maybe a little bit of a heavy energy. Okay, we do have a 10 of wands here. This could be something you've been struggling with for some time. But I feel like it's going to come into balance, Scorpio. You got a lot of balanced energy, okay? After a time where things weren't balanced, Queen of Swords. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. See, didn't I say it? Things are going to come into balance here. And the Chariot. Yes. Okay. I feel like here, Queen of Swords. Okay, just use discernment here. Okay. The Fool card. Taking that risk, that leap of faith, but it's a new beginning here. There's some sort of new beginning here, I feel for you, Scorpio, that's bringing a lot of... A lot of happiness, stability, security. Okay, some of you, I feel like this could be like some sort of change in your career. Okay, so it could be a job offer. Okay, chariot, cancerian energy could be um, an energy here where you're going to, it's a very determined energy and you're quite clear about what you want. You know, ten of pentacles. So you may notice that doors are going to start opening here for you. And like I said, there's some sort of decision here, okay, or planning with this two of wands. So some of you, it may be that you have to make some sort of quick decision. Others, I feel like this is a love situation. This is someone coming towards you, quite clear what they want. Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles, someone coming towards you very determined. Okay, I see a lot of good energy here, uh, Scorpio. I just feel like... Um, there's just been some time. There's been some time or patience here. So I feel like Spirit's just trying to reassure you, to tell you that um, there's success ahead. Okay, there's stability, prosperity in your future here with that Ace of Pentacles. Let's uh, see what the oracles have to say. What's the guidance here for Scorpio? Please show Scorpio what they need to know. Okay, we have, oh, look at that, plane. There's something about travel, and I was saying here, something about travel, a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full, and that's what I said. I feel like a very fulfilling energy, especially, too, with this cornucopia card, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. I feel like money and love for you, okay? So things taking off, 26, which is 8, possibilities oh boy <laughs> look at this proposal okay 27 which is nine a romantic or business opportunity is indicated okay so some of you i feel right this is business and some of you i feel this is love it could be both you also have here the wish card beautiful which says your heart's desire is ready to come true okay wow that's confirming the message here Something I feel, like I said, something you have an attachment to. It maybe that was not stable in the past. Okay. It's happening. They're just telling you to be patient. Okay. This wish is being granted. So let's see, uh, get your final message here from Archangel Michael. Okay. So your message here from Archangel Michael says lean on god and the angels for support you're strong and an independent person yet there are times when everyone needs support and for you that time is now this card guides you to give this situation completely to god and the angels if you try to single-handedly resolve it you'll burden yourself with unnecessary worry which blocks you from experiencing the solution at hand when you allow others to help and support you, you empower yourself. So possible specific meanings, these may not all apply to you, so take it how it resonates. 
hire some help, let others assist you when they offer, ask your friends and family for support, see a counselor so you can talk freely about and sort through your feelings. There is a prayer here on the bottom. You can take a screenshot if you'd like to say it um, or say it later. You can always come back to the video. But Scorpio, I feel something is really in the works for you, okay? So just know in time here, there's definitely reaping the rewards here. Beautiful energy. So Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.